All right. Uh, hey, guys, I want to talk to you about some interference. You know, interference is uh, sometimes very difficult to find. We had a case here where one of our uh, viewers uh, out west uh, had to get the power company in to find their interference, and uh, we're very successful in cleaning that up. I've had some interference here that started this summer, and it was starting to really worry me. At times, it would get very strong, and other times, it would get weaker, but it was always there. And it was, it was like every 53 kilohertz, it was there. And I'm thinking, okay, what's going on here, you know? Now, I had a new smart meter put on my house uh, this summer. And I thought, well, maybe that's the smart meter causing this hash every 53 kilohertz. So then I'll start worrying about it. And, and then finally, I uh, decide I'm going to look for it, you know? You can't always find it inside your house. You'll be lucky if you find it inside your house. If it's at a neighbor's house, it's very difficult to find because you don't, you can't get into his house and you can't search through all his, you know, bedrooms and kitchens and dining rooms and places like that and unplug stuff. I mean, that would, that would go over like a lead balloon, you know. So, you know, um, LED lights cause interference. All kinds of things cause interference. You don't know where it's coming from. I was getting some, and it was starting to concern me because it, it covered so much of the band. Now, I'm going to show you a, some video clips here uh, of my interference and what I did to find it. Uh, it doesn't look too strong in the first video you see, uh, but this is the radio with the antenna disconnected. Uh, it's still there, and at times it was very loud. So uh, I'm going to... I'm going to put it on here and show you what it is and show you what we did to find it. So here's the 7610 spectrum scope. You can start to see a pattern there. You notice the regular spacing of this interference. All right, let's go to 80. You can see a little better on 80 because there's no All other right, signals on right now. You can see the interference uh, better on 80 because I don't have a lot of signals on, but you can see uh, pretty regular interference pass here. They're about every uh, 53 kilohertz. So, uh, and it's just garbage. It's hard to tell. Let me go back to 40. Let's see if we can hear it. I'll see it on 40. Well, you can see, uh, they're, again, they look like they're pretty regular. Here, 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 here. And it seemed to be on all bands. So, you know, first thing, first thing I do is I go to my breaker box and I turn off the main power. And guess what? My interference goes away. I have the radio running on a 12 volt battery. So I start turning on breakers one at a time. And I uh, found out that this one breaker here, when it was on, it caused the interference. So now you have to start, you know, being uh, Sherlock Holmes and go through your house. So we've uh, just about eliminated everything. Uh, we are narrowed it down to maybe one more thing plugged in. We've got a smart charger here. That's plugged in. What's this charging uh, a battery? So we're going to unplug it here. We unplug it. Of course, it goes off, and our noise went away. Okay, and here we are with the uh, interference removed, and I'm on 80, and you can see on the uh, spectrum scope, there's actually no uh, regular lines coming down on the spectrum scope, no little blips, this is just normal noise here. So uh, that pretty much um, solved my problem. Let me go to 40. Now there are going to be signals on 40. 
but uh, the ran the uh, the uh, the regularly spaced uh, interference is not there anymore. I can tell this is not interference because you can see it breaking up right here. That's actually someone talking. In fact, we're tuned. We're tuned to that right now. So let's go down to one of these others here. Of course, that's a conversation. That's a conversation. So all the regular spaced interference, all the regular spaced interference is gone. So hey, again, it's uh, it's completely missing. If you remember earlier, uh, every about every 50 kilohertz, we had a uh, on the waterfall, we had a, a signal here. So it looks like uh, interference problem solved. I'm so glad. So there you can see, I, I uh, just gave you a quick little uh, video there. It actually took quite a bit more time to find that. Uh, once we narrowed it down to a single circuit breaker on and off causing that, that, uh, that interference, uh, Kathy and I then tried to go through the house to find that circuit. It was a receptacle circuit. So we finally located it at the very distant end of the house and uh, we had to find something that was plugged into it you know it, it could have been anything from a washing machine to a refrigerator uh, who knows what it was but uh, so we narrowed it down to the far end of the house and my shop out there and uh, we just about had everything unplugged and we were still getting the noise i took one last look out there in the shop and that battery charger was plugged in and i bought that this summer a little battery charger was plugged in causing the interference and once I removed that plug that interference that regularly spaced interference every 50 something kilohertz on every band went away and uh, I, man I tell you uh, you, you should have saw the grin on my face because it was internal to my house I had control over it I was able to fix it uh, you know it would have been a different story if it had been in a neighbor's house or you know, out on the power lines or something like that. So anyway, hey, if you have some interference uh, there, it's real easy to put your radio on a 12 volt battery and just turn off the main breaker and see if that goes away. And uh, boy, when it did, I, again, I was so happy. Uh, so uh, don't be afraid to try that. You might clear up something. There's so many things today that can cause interference uh, in your in your shack. Well, or that was the foxhole. Uh, that was the foxhole yeah. one.